Hey guys, it's Daniel from Phone Arena and we're trying to run a few benchmarks on the Sony Xperia S. That's the first dual core handset from Sony 1.5 GHz Snapdragon S3 and uh, it is powering a 4.3 inch 720p HD display. First we'll run Quadrant Standard. That's the new version, meaning that uh, it accounts for multi-core chipsets. So let's see what the final result will be. You can of course fast forward to the result. Okay, let's compare now. 3062 compared to a Galaxy Nexus, for example, which scores around 2000 here on this synthetic benchmark test not bad let's go back to and to to benchmark testing and run this one as well since it gives separate scores for both the cpu and the graphics subsystem it finished the cpu test now it's testing graphics of course the frames here are kept at 60 frames per second as in all such processors and smartphones so this 57 here is not really very illustrative for the Adreno 220 but still it's a capable enough GPU now the input output performance passed quickly that's usually a bottleneck here the read write speed all right, we have the final and to to benchmark score 6466. Let's let's submit it and see how the Sony Xperia S compares. Of course, the Transformer Prime with, with its quad core processor takes the first place. And this one scores about half of its points. Let's go to something else that measures strictly graphics performance Nano Mark II about the same as most other Adreno 220 GPUs we have here the score really passes 40 frames per second and the average is 37.5 after we benchmark the CPU and the graphics processor, now let's measure the browser performance. One of the big selling points of Android handsets. And since this is the first dual core Android handset from Sony, let's see how it fares compared to, let's say the Galaxy S2, which scores a bit north of uh, 50,000 here in its stock form. The iPhone 4S scores about uh, 80 to 90,000 here. This is a synthetic browser benchmark that throws JavaScript and flash rendering as well. So we'll have a pretty good overview of what the browser is capable. And here we go, final result 75,875. Pretty good in between last year's performance of dual core handsets for example with uh, nvidia tegra 2 and uh, more advanced dual core chipsets overall it shows that you won't have any problems browsing uh, on the sony xperia s this was a benchmarking review of the sony xperia s from phone arena for more information about this handset you can visit us at phonearena.com thanks for watching